If you're staring at lifeless, compacted dirt in your garden and feeling overwhelmed by complicated soil amendments and expensive fertilizers, I've got wonderful news for you. There's a beautifully simple method that harnesses nature's own soil-building magic, and it requires almost no effort from you once it's set up. This isn't about turning compost piles or following complex schedules. It's about creating the perfect conditions and letting Mother Nature do what she does best. Think about what happens on a forest floor. Leaves fall, branches drop, and organic matter slowly decomposes into rich, dark humus that feeds towering trees and supports incredible biodiversity. We're going to replicate this natural process right in your garden beds, creating a living soil factory that works 24 7 without your constant attention. The secret lies in layering organic materials in a specific way that creates the ideal environment for beneficial microorganisms, earthworms, and other soil creatures to transform dead matter into living, breathing earth. This method works whether you're dealing with clay that's hard as concrete, sandy soil that won't hold nutrients, or tired earth that's been overfarmed and depleted. Start by laying cardboard directly over your problem soil. Don't worry about removing grass, weeds, or existing vegetation. The cardboard acts as a biodegradable barrier that suppresses weeds while slowly breaking down to feed soil organisms. Use plain corrugated cardboard without glossy printing and overlap pieces by at least 6 inches to prevent gaps where weeds might sneak through. Water the cardboard thoroughly until it's completely saturated. This is crucial because wet cardboard begins decomposing immediately and creates the perfect moisture base for your entire system. Many gardeners skip this step and wonder why their method fails. The cardboard needs to be soaked to kickstart the decomposition process. Now comes the satisfying part. Piling on the organic matter. Start with a layer of dry leaves about 4 to 6 inches thick. Fallen leaves are pure gold for soil building because they're perfectly balanced with carbon and trace minerals that trees have pulled up from deep in the subsoil. If you don't have enough leaves from your own yard, ask neighbors or contact your local municipality. They're often happy to deliver bags of shredded leaves for free. Next, add a layer of straw or hay, again about 4 to 6 inches deep. Straw provides excellent structure, creating air pockets that prevent the pile from becoming a soggy, anaerobic mess. It also breaks down slowly, providing long-term organic matter that continues feeding your soil for months. Avoid using hay with seed heads if you're concerned about introducing unwanted plants to your garden. Here's where many well-intentioned gardeners go wrong. They either underwater or overwater their organic pile. Your layers should feel like a wrung-out sponge, moist but not dripping. Water each layer as you build it, then give the entire pile a thorough soaking when complete. The moisture activates countless microorganisms that begin the decomposition process, but too much water drives out oxygen and creates smelly, anaerobic conditions. Check your pile weekly for the first month, especially during dry weather. If the top layers look dry and feel crispy, give them a gentle watering. After the first month, the pile typically maintains its own moisture balance, especially if you've built it thick enough.